Hi everyone, my name is Spencer Weinstein and I'm a PhD student at the University of Waterloo. My poster today is titled Diversity of Chars in the Central Canadian Arctic and focuses on some preliminary genomic analyses from my PhD research. Climate change is disproportionately affecting Arctic ecosystems and the Canadian Arctic is warming at approximately three times the global rate. This has tremendous consequences for Salvolinus fishes, which are vulnerable to climate-induced changes due to their life-stage-specific use of multiple habitats. Chars are of interest in the Canadian Arctic because they represent a critical subsistence food source in remote northern communities, and because the Mackenzie River, shown in green in figure one, has long been thought of as a boundary between Arctic char and Dolly Varden, two closely related Salvolinus species. All char to the east of the Mackenzie River, as well as most lacustrine char to the west, are thought to be Arctic char, while all marine and riverine populations and a few lake resident populations to the west are thought to be Dolly Varden. However, community reports and anecdotal scientific data suggest that Dolly Varden may be present in the Coppermine and Tree Rivers, shown by the blue stars in figure one, two rivers hundreds of kilometers east of the Mackenzie River and well outside the purported range of Dolly Varden. The Coppermine River supports a subsistence Arctic char fishery for the local community of Kogliptuk Nunavut, and community members have observed changes to the fish population over the past five years. Understanding the diversity of chars in these systems will help inform habitat management and restoration plans, ensuring the viability of this critical subsistence fishery. My project was developed in response to community concerns about the fishery. The two overarching objectives of my research are to determine the species composition of Salvolinus fishes in the Coppermine and Tree Rivers, and to establish the extent of species interaggression and hybridization in the Coppermine River. To do this, I have analyzed samples from seven locations across the Arctic. Each star in figure two represents a sampling location, and moving from west to east, we have two reference Dolly Varden populations, one in Alaska and one in Yukon. The Coppermine River, thought to contain Arctic char, Dolly Varden, and potential hybrid fish. The Tree River, supporting a purported Dolly Varden population, and three reference Arctic char populations from Nyack Lake, Hope Bay, and Sylvia Grinnell River. The 289 samples from these locations were genotyped using the 87K Arctic char SNP chip, and the resulting data were analyzed using plink and structure. After filtering for minor allele frequency and missing genotypes, just under 70,000 SNPs remained for analysis. Looking at figure three, the principal component analysis, we find that principal component one explaining 72% of the variance appears to separate individuals by species or subspecies, and PC2 explaining an additional 10% of the variance differentiates between glacial refugia. In the bottom left corner of the PCA, we have a cluster of our reference Arctic char populations. We have another cluster of our two reference Dolly Varden populations at the top, and the purported Dolly Varden from the Tree River shown in pink form a third cluster in the bottom right. The Tree River fish are distinct from both reference Dolly Varden populations and may be similar to northern form Dolly Varden. All Dolly Varden genotyped here are southern form and future work includes expanding the reference sample to include northern form fish. The Coppermine River shown here in light blue appears to support Arctic char, Dolly Varden and possible hybrid individuals, though more analyses are needed to say anything conclusive about hybridization within the system. Future work will also assess whether this variation among fish in the Coppermine River is associated with differences in spawning times or habitat and or with overwintering habitat. Preliminary population structure analyses shown in figure four suggests that Arctic char and the Coppermine River are genetically similar to the reference Arctic char populations shown by the green in this figure. However, while the probable Dolly Varden share some genetic similarities with the Tree River fish, both groups also have genetic influence from elsewhere, and this is something else that I will be analyzing moving forward. My continued research will combine these data with meristic and morphometric analyses and with local knowledge interviews to help inform a habitat management and restoration plan for the subsistence char fishery in the Coppermine River. Thank you all for listening and please find me during the meeting if you have any questions or would like to talk more about this.